the ah uh ah -uh. 63 nsc day by this time they're supposed to retire they ask me how many years are you i tell they say this is 80 years they say why you not die about you be 80 years like this yes i'm 80 years about 1940. wow now with your age you did travel like this with your age from one place and not be state where they close so from Aquaibon back to joss yes they don't I, retire you as they talk say you suppose they retire they don't retire you they don't retire me they okay. don't pay me money but presently you still they work yes they I never they, retire you I see, they never retire me but and they don't pay you they don't pay me since 1983 and now the paper be this we made the carry go up and down so i joined the break the family show yesterday on facebook and saw a video of this acquired man who served in the nigerian army this man is 80 years now and still hasn't been retired Nothing has been paid to him and he's heavily indebted because he was sick and had to borrow money to be able to treat himself and up to now, this 80 years old man has not been retired. This is wickedness of the highest order and the men who are in the Nigerian army, according to this man, they are just been playing this man around. Imagine this old man having to travel from Akwaibom to Joss to Plateau State almost every time. They will call him Ogade okay, and they have not paid him his money. It is very heartbreaking. Watch this video. I don't know why they will treat an old man like this. Anyway, I like ordinary president because I'm sure he will give justice to this man. But again, people need to know that a lot of these old men, a lot of these civil servants, they are going through so much. Maybe that's why a lot of you today don't even care for some of these civil service jobs. Because how can you serve for 30 something years? And then when it comes to retirement, your entitled men, you have to fight for them. You have to struggle for them. Listen to this story. It's really, really heartbreaking. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Now, my name is last couple, Eded Akban. Okay. I joined Army 68. They trained me at training depot mm, that, that in 1968 yes 1968. Uh -huh. make it talk and fool make people know if yes, you talk say 68 go be like saying now you're when you did 68 years now no. you join army ah uh, i joined army in 1968 okay so they trained me at put go recam at they then post me for worry after my training depot then i fight the first war i fight it had worry i fight my war with the lucio kwaba senjo 15 brigade so after I fight the war, you know, when we there for war, bomb can't carry me. Explosion can't carry me. Then if you see my back, I get wound for the back. Then they carry me to hospital. Then I stay there for hospital, my sickness. I, I stay there for hospital. I hear say the war has end. I thank God. Then after the war end, they come post us. We can't carry three diff, three marine commando. From from Portacot to Jos. The one is there, Jos. It was 1983. I come for sick. They say I was sick on my head as a mental disease. So they got me to hospital. Then the thing is not clear. Then they give me home treatment to go and treat myself. And my wife carried me because I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one who take the 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 paper. They just tied me as firewood. What make me to know that they tied me like firewood as I as, see as the a wound. Okay. So reason there at home, they put me in the they put me for home treatment. After the home treatment, 2020, year 2000, my sickness finished. My wife carried me, was about to go. Then the sickness can't start me again. And in fact, they carry me again to hospital. That the hospital is here. Talk to and the mic, Daddy. Continue. Uh, then they carry me to hospital at the uh, Aquaibom State. They went and carry me to hospital. I stayed there. I didn't see my wife. What I know, they put me chain on my leg. And um, Daddy, they put um, me chain on my leg. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry to cut you. We won't know whether that time where you know where you get issue of your mental health they then give you pass yes they, they give me home treatment the home treatment is here okay they give you pass they make you go treat yourself for yes, home. how treat... many months or yes you go do treat yourself for home i don't know 
then give me home treatment. When you come back, now you you don't you don't resume yes. your work. So when I come back, doctor give me the report paper. I take come and give them, and my children carry me come because now they hold the paper. The way my children carry me come because my wife is dead. Then my children carry Sorry. me come there. The way my children reach, they show them the paper. Then they enter office and see the paper. Then my RSM tell me say. Can you go to a local jail? I thought that I want to go and take my pay because since I was sick, they didn't pay me. Then when I reach there, they give me paper. When I reach the local jail, I give the chief clerk. The chief clerk say, yes. He, he says to wait. After wait, he go look for the system. He say, yes, I'm a soldier. He replied them. He said, yes, I'm a soldier. So from there, they take me and give me paper. Say they should retire me and pay me all my entitlement. Mm. Then when I carry the paper, come to the... I'm here in quarter, Abuja, yeah. Then the Amir quarter, Abuja, say, ah uh ah, -uh. 63 NAC there by this time. They're supposed to retire. They ask me, how many years are you? I tell them, say, this is 80 years. They say, why you not die? Hmm. Baba, you be 80 years like this? Yes, I'm 80 years. I born in 1940. Wow. I bet me appreciate Baba. <laughs> hmm. They say, why me I not die? So from there now, they say they will order, carry... Order, please. Order, order, order. They say they will carry the paper, go for Lagos, go and look what I don't take pay, carry go for anywhere where they like. Then they carry the paper, go, they say to go home. Then after, they call me. When they call me again, they say to come for, to come and take my pay. Reaching there, they say no, I should go back to my unit. I go back to my unit. Where is my Where unit? unit today, Baba? Just for okay. plus two state. Okay. I go back to my unit. When I reach there to my unit, my unit give me a house for the twenty-four. I live there. They say my commander says to so continue coming to see me every day, every day, every day. So continue go there every day, every day. They will for one fine day. They make board inquiry, and board inquiry where they make they ask me question. I ask. I mean, I answer them. Then carry the paper, my question paper, I go and give lawyer. Because I'm a denke lawyer. The way they carry go give the lawyer. The lawyer say, they sign, they carry, they say they should pay me all my entitlement. Then from there now, then give me pass. Says to go home. Mm. I tell the commander, say, you give me pass, says to go home. I don't get house. Where we go and live? I don't get money. The commander put hand for in pocket, give me money. He says to go home. He give me pass again. Mm. This is the pass he was given to me. Mm. Just continue. Make sure you could. Then after he give me the pass. Baba, don't worry. Continue talking. After he give me, me the pass, him. when I reach home, mm. I hear a phone call. They say, yes. Are you last couple the rock band? I say, yes. He say, yes. Um, two brigade need you. I say, at where? He say, at the hospital where you treat yourself. So I went there to the hospital there. I meet the... Which hospital? At the Aquaibum. Okay. The address is here. I went there to the hospital. Then I meet the two brigade, the soldier there. They tell me, they say, are you the soldier? I say, yes. He carried me to the, to the doctor. The doctor, yes, yes, I was here. So they look for my card. And no say, yes, I was, I, I was sick here. I've been taking injection. I've been mean, asleep there for that side, and I take my treatment till, till my treatment finish. I mean, my sickness finish. From there now, the soldier said they should write letter for them. So they made them send to Joss, say yes. They, be, they go and witness the place, it's true. Then they write letter to the soldier. Then this is the copy of the letter. Mm. They write Baba, for don't them. worry. It's here. Mm. So they send to them. The soldier tell me, say, I should go back in. In time, I will say they should not say they should not see me. I just, I come back in time. Then when I come back, my commander say, are you back? I say, yes. Mm, Baba, so now with your age, you did travel like this. With your age, from one place, and not be state where they're close, so from Aquaibon back to Joss. Yes. Uh -uh. So, my commander say, they say I should come back again to Joss. I don't have money. They don't I, retire you as they talk, say, you suppose they retire. They don't retire you. Now, the retirement, I did look so for my money. They don't retire me. They okay. don't pay me money. But they okay, hold on, me. Baba. Now, presently, you still they work. 
Yes. They actually, never retire you. I see, they never retire me. But and they not pay you. They not pay me. Since 1983, they not pay me up to now. But they say they want to retire me. Now the paper be this. We may they carry go up and down. Then when they give me pass, when I come back again, my commander tell me, say, I come sick. I need to come out me. Then me are not well. They are going to go to military hospital. But I, I mean, uh, just there. They want to operate me. My unit said they should not operate me. I don't have anybody to look after me. Oh, I said, okay, when I come back again, they don't go, go give me paper again. Open pass to go home. They were, I go reach for home now. I go to hospital to operate me. They say, if I don't get money, maybe if they operate me now, as I don't get money, I go die because I don't get food. I don't, uh, sometimes I don't get medicine to buy. So from there now, now me I come back. I can't tell them. Say, and Papa, this operation now, where they talk, where they talk, the army people, they talk, say they go sponsor them, they say make you go take care of yourself. No, army say they go operate me. But okay, they go sponsor them. Uh, okay, that is, okay, I, good. I used to go to hospital, now the paper be this. Uh, no worry this. about the paper. So the doctor say, as I don't get money, mm. they will give me injection. So many things go down, yes. but if that, in, that injection expires, mm. why come it will kill me so i come back i come and say this will pay me so they no really pay me then after they give me open pass they open pass. yeah they say so come and wait they want to come wait now for home they come call me last month i tell them say they call me say i should come for for my payment okay. rsm call me hmm. he says you hold that phone then i will hear the person who call me I hold the phone after the person go call me. He says, so come. I tell the person, say, I don't have money. He says, okay, so go to AKTC to, to go ask how much is the money from here to yours. I go ask, they say, now 26,500. Ah, he says, okay, so wait, they will send money for me. After one week, I go again. I go tell him, say, I don't see money. He say, I tell him that. I will come. He says, come. I go buy money again to take come, to come and take my my mm -hmm. pension and my pay. Go, go, go they reach in there now. And all the money where me I buy now, where I owe, is 2.3 million since the time where I sick. I did owe money to take care of, my, care of myself. Mm. Then when I reach there, the person say, he tell me, say, I should wait. I should not come. Mm -hmm. I tell him, say, no matter me, I never know Bugo, but I, I get number six to wait. And they say they need you for three div. Those two places. Who's one you tell me? He said, because he's a major, he says to get out. That didn't tell me, he says to get out. Then from there now, for I just, don't have anything to say. For just? Yes, for just. What him be the major name? I don't know the major name. And I him, you hear in voice for yes, phone, when did. tell you, say, make you come. So tell, now he talks, say, go send you transport, yes. make you come. Yes. After you wait, you know, see the transport. They tell you, say, make you look for transport, come. Yes. You can't look for transport, come. Uh, yes. Now they can't talk, say, why you go come. They don't talk, say, make you come. They yes. say, make you hold on. Yes. I be what make me, as me, I don't know, book. I store the person name. I mean, the person number. The thing I take to the person number, I say, the soldier one. The war is there. That's why I call him. Hmm. Yeah. So, so Baba, all this waka now where you waka go come from, shuttling between Joss and Akwai bomb consistently, till today, and now where you they talk to us, you never see money. I never see money. They, they never, they never retire you. They never retire me. People just they help me. The, the retirement paper where they say I should take from nine to all everybody put down. A day with commander, you. commander put down. Everybody mm. put down. They not see pay me. Okay, hold on, dear Papa. Give my auntie the the microphone. And uh, make give Papa Baba seat. Baba, please go and sit down. Give Baba seat. Make you sit down. Make you appreciate Baba <laughs> because it's really amazing that you see. Say, are they call them? Are they call them senior citizens? Imagine Papa at age eighty. See the way Papa they very strong. Some of us no go. When we reach sixty, we don't reach like Papa. Please let's appreciate Papa. <laughs> Papa even talk say he even do war. When I don't hear him, Papa talk say he even do war. 
see waiting our gallant um military people and um, police and the rest see the gallant um, actions where they do see the things where they do but the one way it they i know they happy we say these are people that should be celebrated nigeria should fix a day to celebrate them this one where did they do independence day this one that one there should be a day that these people should be celebrated their documentary may they do documentary of them on that day all of them make the whole world see them remember them write about their documentary waiting then do but all that is not done now only for nigeria you go see say person was serving country for 30 something years die you go see their family go be like beggar even beggar go go find past their family it's in nigeria we see that see they can't walk away where, where daddy they do that daddy you know supposed they, not even grandfather you know supposed to do all this waka waka grandpa supposed to sit down rest now people supposed go even meet grandpa the other military people waiting now them supposed to even meet grandpa salute them give our respect say grandpa waiting you want make we take over make we make sure say your benefit or everything you don't get them we will get it tried by the grace of god at this point sir, i don't even know what to separate i'm very sure that the ordinary president will help this man get his entitlement at 80 what will even use the money for will even enjoy the money again this man can die anytime this is not right this cannot be right it's so sad i really wish i know where this man lives because people like this they have a lot of story to tell us especially about the nigerian war because he fought in that war please anybody in aquarium that knows this man i would like to visit him